And what's your name, please? My name is Michael Ketterer. What do you do for a living? I'm a pediatric mental health nurse. Yeah. Every day I come to work, I bring my ukulele with me. Just that kid that's having a hard time connecting. I find, out, I find that music breaks down barriers and breaks down walls, and so I'm able to really connect with kids with a, a song or with music or with melody. So I also feel it's very therapeutic for them to put their emotions into lyrics, and it's fun. And at the end, it's super incredible. The kids have so much pride when um, we've actually written a song together. I originally was admitted here with my son. He had complications following the surgery. And during that week is when I really began to fall in love with Chalk because of the excellence and care that not only my son was receiving, but me and my entire family. It felt so different than anything I'd ever experienced, especially in a hospital setting. But while I was here, I did catch wind of the Mental Health Inpatient Center. I just have such a heart for children in foster care and for kids that have had a really rough and difficult background. If a child is hungry and he's looking for their next meal, are they going to have a shelter? Are they going to have somebody that's going to care for them? When they are so consumed with those basic needs, it's hard, if not impossible, to dream about doing anything above and beyond. So getting them the help that they need, providing them the state-of-the-art care that we offer here at Chalk, really sets these children free, almost, to be able to dream and to go after the things that otherwise would be impossible. We need to work really hard to erase the stigma of mental health, that, that uh, just because you suffer from a mental health disorder does not mean that you are less than or you are, you are worth rejection. We actually have the ability to really intervene and help these children out now. I just really believe that not just me and not just my family, but that all of us have the capability of really making this world a better place and easier for the most vulnerable among us, and that oftentimes are our children.